So, you know, this Jyotisha, the subject that we teach here is not an easy subject to learn. I must tell you, you know, the first requirement of this sub subject is to become spiritual. No matter how much Jyotish my students have learned, but one thing is for sure that every single student, you know, in this group has become spiritual in one way or the other. That is what I feel is my success. You know, I feel so good about this, you know, transformation that my students go through. It is absolutely fantastic. You see, when I started learning Jyotisha, I used to look at a chart. And that chart looks amazing. It looks very good. There, were, there are so many Raj Yogas, there are so many good combinations in the chart. But that person has a really tormented life. You know, that person had a very, very difficult life. Nothing going in the way. It is like a disaster. Nothing is working. Then I used to ask myself, does Jyotish actually work? He has such a fantastic exalted Saturn. He has an exalted Venus. His Jupiter is so well placed. Where is the disconnect? Where is the problem? Then I started learning few concepts which I will teach you today. You see, Surya Bhagwan is no one else but energy of Shiva. It is a clear form of energy of Shiva. You have to <clears throat> understand one thing, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever I talk of Brahma, I am just talking of a powerful energy known as Ganesha. Because in our Sanatan Dharma, in our Jyotisha, everything begins with Ganesha. So Ganesha naturally gets a status of creator. He creates things for you. He actually remove all the hindrances from your life. If you are facing a lot of hindrances in your life, you need to contact Ganesha. He will remove. He is a vegan harta. There will be no delays in your life. But when it comes to understanding one question, and that question says, who are you? Now, this question is divided into two parts. Who are you? Actually, this is not a complete question. This is combination of two parts. The first part is, what am I here for? And what this world expect out of me? This is the answer of who are you? Should I repeat? <clears throat> Whole life. You keep asking yourself, what is that you want to do in this life? What is the best thing for you in this life? But then when the things don't go right in your life, you ask yourself another question. What is this world expecting out of me? When I say world, world means your family. The first world to you is your parents. What is your mother expecting from you? What is your father expecting from you? What is your husband expecting from you? What is your wife expecting from you? What, are, what is your children that are expecting from you? What bosses are expecting? 
वॉट लाइफ इज एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम यू दिस इज योर वर्ल्ड ये लोग आपसे क्या एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं एंड द अदर क्वेश्चन इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज दैट वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट वन यू वेन यू वॉन्ट टू डू अ सर्टन थिंग एंड द वर्ल्ड एक्सपेक्ट समथिंग एल्स फ्रॉम यू इट इज अ पेन it is an absolute pain you want to do spirituality you want to do jyotisha but your parents or your wife they want you to do something else because this world is not the entire world when i say when i talk about the world world means people around you people who belong to you and in this lecture i will help you find who are you and what world expects out of you this will be clear after this lecture and this can only be done with the help of shiva no one else so what did shiva do kya kiya shiv ji ne ki aapko ye pata lag jaye you should understand this कि आपको क्या करना है और दुनिया आपसे क्या चाहती है विद दिस ओनली शिवा कैन हैव कैसे करना है हाउ विल यू डू इट दिस कम्स विद विष्णु विष्णु विल हेल्प यू हाउ विल यू डू इट बट वॉट टू डू इज अ बिगर क्वेश्चन हाउ टू डू इज नॉट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन what to do is the first question and then how to do is the second question so first of all you are created brahma ganesha they are creating your buddhi your intelligence now question is what you are supposed to do shiva and then how to do it is vishnu this is the story of life and these are the questions that i get in almost my every consultation so ji what am i supposed to do and then when i tell that okay you can do these things then the question is how am i supposed to do but when it mismatches you wanted to do something else but the world expect something else from you it is the reason of tension stress anxiety indecisiveness and problems in life and only one planet the position of one planet in your chart can help you answer this question just one planet and that planet has to be directly connected to you that was the requirement of shiva you know what only two planets are directly connected to you the rest all the planets are indirectly connected in fact remaining all the planets are connected through those planets the planets that are directly connected with you is sun and moon there's no other planet that is directly affecting you all other planets are affecting you through either by sun during the day or by the moon during the night that's what these planets are doing if mars want to send you some energy mars will not yeah. contact with you directly mars will contact you will send you the energy with the help of surya sun and if that energy of or that thought has to come to you in your mind in the night then mars would need moon he will find chandra and will send that energy to you through chandra so during the day sun is doing this duty to take energies from different planets and send it across to you and during the night it is the chandra who is taking the energy from all the planets based on your karma based on the algorithm of your jataka based on what you have done in the previous life 
and then it reciprocates to you. So sun and moon becomes very important planet. If a good thing has to happen in your horoscope or if a good thing has to happen in your life, it has to go through Surya or Chandra. <clears throat> what does that mean? That means that sun has to be a natural Atma Karaka. Naisargik Atma Karaka. The word Karaka means project manager who is directly attached to your karma, who is going to understand your karma and going to give you results accordingly. So the planet with the highest degree, each zodiac sign is 0 to 30 degree and the planet with the highest degree in your chart is a Atma Kara Graha. It may be Surya, it may not be Surya, but Muni Parashara says it can be any planet, but Naisargik Atma Karak, the natural Atma Karak in a chart is Surya because it contains your karmas. Whatever karmas you've done, it is holding those karmas. So Surya, which is Shiva, is now helping you to come out of these karmas. To help you out of these karmas, they divided the time into 12 equal months. And those months have a particular energy of Surya. Every month has a particular wavelength, a particular bandwidth, which is affecting our mind and body in a certain way. For an example, your mindset in April is very, very different from your mindset in December. It is because of the energy that Surya is, you know, giving you here on the, on this mother earth. You see, ladies and gentlemen, what you're supposed to do in this life and what this world expects out of you will depend on the form of Surya. This form of Surya is known as Aditya. Suppose Right now I'm behaving like a teacher, like a guru, and I'm trying to teach you certain things. This is one of my forms. After the class, I will sit with my children, play with them. I behave like a father. That is my another form. Now listen to me very carefully. I want my children to study and enjoy. This is what I want. Okay. But my children expect that Papa should play with me or play with us or he should give us these, these things. This is the story of you and the world. You see, I am changing my circumstances, I am changing my body, my mind, my body language with different people at different times. That means I am changing my forms. With my spouse, I am very different. With my mother, I am very different. The problem arises when I expect something from my wife and she expects something else from me. That is the pain in the society. That is the pain on, the, on this motherland. Where you are born, this is the only pain. 
so to understand this concept i started learning about adityas the forms of surya because surya was the only naisargik atma karak surya is the natural significator of the first house and the 10th house you know when i started understanding that surya is so important that everyone was saying when i was studying as a student i'm still studying was that bina surya ke koi rajyog nahi ho sakta if you want any rajyog to work in your chart you should have a good strong surya if you are if the surya is not well placed in your chart any rajyog will not work and this was correct a very beautiful looking chart with a bad surya is not giving results because all the raj yogas are not allowed by the surya simple you may have 20 good combinations and one bad surya those 20 good combinations will not work for you why i just told you because all planets are first contacting surya to give you the energy jupiter is not giving you the energy directly jupiter first contacts surya and then surya transmits that energy during the day and chandrama transmits that energy that thought process during the night so that means all the good combinations in your chart all the raj yogas in your chart are only allowed or will only work if the placement of surya is good in your horoscope full stop <clears throat> and what will be the duration of that raj yog wo kitni der persist karega uski persistence kitni hogi how much will be the persistence of that raj yog will depend on the position of the chandra now two things listen to me carefully i'll repeat this again if you have a good surya only then the raj yogas raj yogas means good combinations in your chart will give you good results otherwise you may have 500 raj yogas in your chart none of them will work if the position of the surya is not good and if surya allows those raj yogas but then chandra is not well placed so then your success will not be permanent you may become king of a city or a country but did you become king for 2 months 1 month or 20 years will depend upon the position of the chandra if your chandra is strong in the chart that means you will have if the raj yogas are good you will have good results for long long time the survival of a raj yoga or how long that raj yoga will be there in a chart depends upon the position of the moon and will you ever get the result from that raj yoga will that raj yoga ever begin in your chart depends upon the position of the surya sun am i crystal clear on this or not because all these planets will contact surya during the day and will contact chandra during the night to transform transmit the energy to you people they don't have any other medium they don't have any other way because sun is your intelligence and moon is your mind either a planet will contact your intelligence or the raj yoga will contact your emotion but intelligence is the first priority for an example if there is a very healthy food lying in front of you you should be intelligent enough to grab that food and eat if you have no intelligence that you should go and pick up that food and put it in your mouth that intelli- that 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 beautiful looking 
very very nutritive food is of no use to you ya to aapka dimag bolega either your brain will say to eat it and today your brain has said okay let's eat but how long will you eat how long will you keep yourself in a good nutritive food depends upon your chandra depends upon your moon you know how long lasting will be your drive towards fitness and intelligence will depend upon your moon this is how exactly raj yogas work you may have 20 raj yogas in your horoscope none of them will work if your sun doesn't allow to understand those raj yogas to understand what you are supposed to do shiva created adityas and i gave you names of the 12 adityas in the previous lecture i explained them to you aries has an aditya you know then taurus has an aditya gemini has an aditya each aditya is a form of a surya like a devata and that is why i always say that if you have a sankranti dosha in your horoscope sankranti dosha means when surya devta was changing the form he was changing the clothes either surya is at 0 degree some minutes or if the surya is at 29 degree some minutes it is known as sankranti dosha because at that time surya becomes weak at 1 degree surya is not at sankranti dosha surya is at sankranti dosha at 0 degree and some minutes <clears throat> the moment it reaches 1 degree <clears throat> excuse me it is not sankranti at 29 degrees also it is not sankranti dosha but 29 degrees and some minutes is a sankranti dosha it is a very very weak surya with very very weak surya in your chart the raj yogas the good pl planetary positions and if you ex expect a dasha will give you good results <coughs> dasha want to give you good result but your surya is not able to transmit that to you that is why it is ritual in the sanatan dharma to get up early in the morning and give jala to the surya in the sikh dharm people get up early in the morning known as amritvani they they get up before the surya and they start doing their panch baniyon ki jo you know this all that prayers they do early in the morning so that they can energize surya you know the kada prasad the halwa which is sent in the gurudwara is always either made of porridge or wheat flour again representing surya sun remember this so that you know your sun is enhanced so that your raj yogas can work that is why it is a compulsory compulsory thing for my students to do gayatri mantra in the morning every day you have to do the gayatri mantra otherwise your surya will never ever give you good results never ever and if the surya will not give you results you may have fantastic placements of your planets none of them are able to reach to you it is just like i have a fantastic knowledge you have an urge to get that knowledge but you have no way to connect like we have we don't have this computer we don't have this internet we don't have this zoom you want to learn i want to give you learning but there is no medium so that medium is surya and that medium is chandra and that surya has 12 forms and each form explains what are you who are you this is a beautiful technique given by shiva so what happens is where was another confusion another confusion was when i started learning adityas 
So I'm gonna make a chart in front of you right now. And whenever Muni Parashara has made any chart, he has always made the Kalpurush Kundli, the Kundli that starts from Aries all the time. The Kundli, the horoscope that starts from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. This is the Kalpurush Kundli. This is a horoscope that was designed first and all the horoscopes came out of this. So here we have Dhata Aditya, Mesha, Rashi, or the first house is Dhata. Then we have Aryamana, the Aditya that belongs to Taurus. Then we have Mitra, Aditya that belongs to Gemini. I gave you the list in the previous lecture. And you've done some homework also, which I checked, which was a good effort, especially by Nandita Dalalji. She's done a fantastic job. For Karaka, it is Aruna or Varuna. So I'll explain you Aruna and Varuna. What is the difference? There's no difference. It is just the emotions. For Leos, for Simha, it is Indra Aditya. For Virgo, it is Viviswan. For Tula, it is Pusha. For Vrishchika, it is Parjanya. For Dhanu, it is Anshuman. For Capricorn, it is Bhaga. For Aquarius, it is Tvasta. And for Meena, it is Vishnu. Now, please do not confuse with the Vishnu Deva. It is the 12th Aditya is not the Vishnu that you are thinking in your mind. It is the name of one of the Adityas. He is not the Vishnu. Let me be very clear on this. See, I started learning about first house Dhata Aditya in the Aries. Now, this is confusing. I need your next five minutes with full attention to make you understand this concept. Dhata is a very, very intelligent, you know, Aditya. Why intelligent Aditya? Because Sure is exalted in the Mesha in the first house. It makes a person extremely, extremely intelligent. You will be as pure as Brahma. You will have long life. You have intelligence. These are the qualities of Dhata Aditya. But the problem is that this Dhata Aditya is sitting in the first house in the sign of Aries. So what should I take? Should I take this Dhata sitting in the first house or Dhata sitting in the sign of Aries? What should I take? Did you understand? Should I take Dhata Aditya that belongs to the first house or the sign in which it is? I think I should take the both. But the problem is that you may have your Surya probably sitting in the fourth house. But with the sign Aries, probably you can, you may not have, you know, first house as a first sign. I mean, you can be. Dhanu Lagna, you can be Tula Lagna. My confusion was then which is my Aditya? Should I 
consider this Aditya to be a sign based concept or should I consider this Aditya to be a house based concept? Did you understand this thing? Let me make another chart for you here. Let me make another chart. Suppose someone is, is a Gemini Lagna. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, and two, and sun is in the lagna. Okay. Now what is the Aditya he belongs to? So Gemini is Mitra. But then I just said that Dhata is also the first house. And also, it is the sign Aries, so we have to consider both the energies. So, every single person always have two Adityas associated with him or her until and unless that person is a Mesha Lagna chart. Until and unless it is a Kal Purush Kundli. So, so, here, what do you see here? Is he a Dhata Aditya here? The answer is, this is Dhata because of Sure is in the Lagna. Plus, this is Mitra. So, this is, this Sure has two qualities. What are two qualities? Are there in this? See, people are joining after 40 minutes. Um, this time I'm allowing. Next time I will not allow someone to join in the middle of the class. So, Dhata, Dhata Aditya is because of the placement of sun in the Lagna, in the first house. And sign Aditya is because of sun is present in the Gemini sign, in the Lagna. What is the meaning? You have to understand the characteristics of each Aditya. If I teach you the characteristics of Dhata and Mitra, so you can note down, okay, Dhata, Aditya ka matlab, this, these, 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 these things. And Mitra, Aditya ka matlab, these, 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 these things. Okay. So sun in a particular sign. Now this is the catch. Sun in a particular sign. So sign based Aditya is what you want to do. Is what you want to do. And sun in a particular bhava or in a house, bhava is house, is what world expect from you. I'll take this example that you have in your chat right now in, in the screen. What is a Dhata Aditya? Dhata Aditya is the controller of the Lagna. So Dhata means extremely intelligent. Dhata means extremely intelligent person. Dhata means a person has a long life. So keep on listening. This person who is living here, the world expects, since he is very intelligent, he will be an intelligent person. 
the world mother father everyone why children expect that he should live a long life because of the house he is dhata because of the house dhata because of the house means what world what others are expecting from you so others are expecting from you to be intelligent others are expecting from you to have a long life others are expecting from you that you may have some ego you may have some fat ego because this dhata in the aries in the first house surya is an exalted surya is a fully aware surya you know so this world expects that you will be fully aware about the concepts but what you want to do in this life is mitra mitra means that you are friendly to everyone you want to give shoulder to everyone you know all the mitra ditya people have lot of sufferings in their life because this mitra is 12th from the 4th house you know mitra people have emotional sufferings you are writing wrong pavan sign is what you want to do bhava is what world expects from you do from you and you are also breaking my flow look at the screen i will forget very important things that i want to tell you sign is what you want to do what you like to do what is your nature is the sign of the surya the house of a surya is what the world expects from you so mitra aditya is a mental suffering why it is a mental suffering because it is 12th from the 4th your mind is getting annoyed because everyone is calling you because everyone has considered you so much friendly it is a very emotional house people will call you every time and they want your shoulder because you are a friend because you are a mitra now actually you want to give shoulders to everyone you want to be friendly with everyone you want emotional support from everyone but world is expecting that you are a very very intelligent person you will have ego and you have a long life so what happens with this combination is that you will say that this world doesn't understand main sabke sath dosti karna chahta hu but people are thinking that i am egoistic and then the emotional turmoil starts this is the story of people who have sun in the gemini in the lagna because they want to be friendly but world is expecting that they have a fat ego they are intelligent people you know they are like brahma they are like very pure very disciplined but actually this person is very very friendly he wants to be friend with everyone because of the sun sign of the surya but world is expecting based on the house placement yahan tak kisko samajh mein nahi aaya just tell me then i'll move ahead i can take some questions agar aapko is concept ke bare mein abhi tak samajh mein nahi aaya or please if you can give me thumbs up the people who have understood it give me the thumbs up if you have understood i have tried to explain it in a very simple way if you have not understood we are a family do not hesitate to ask me any question you can ask me a question if you want 
so so the sign placement of the surya is what you want to do and the bhava placement is what the world expects you to do and if it is same it is fantastic no you see i'll give you a very small example a very small example this is my chart sun is in the third house it's a kal purush kundli it's my mesha lagna kundli sun is in the third house world and my objective is same mitra so my aditya is a mitra aditya what is world expecting from me come on tell me who will who will interpret this thing and what am i doing how many of you want to be friends with me so that i am a call away i am a call away everyone wants to call me every day for the small problem everyone wants a shoulder and even i want to give it even i want to give it when we go and learn this concept in the advanced way you will also learn that this aditya is also conjunct with certain more planets you see there is mercury and there is mangal there is mercury and mangal sitting with the with my aditya with the mitra aditya there is a combination of mars which is my lagnesh and my communication which is mercury so you have understood what i want you know what i want to do you have also understood what this world expect from me but now how will you do it you know it is either the aspects of various planet on that aditya or the combination of that aditya with other planets in my case there is mangal and mercury so how am i giving the shoulder am i you know meeting people physically and giving them the shoulder no i am giving them the shoulder by my communication mercury is there i am giving my you know shoulder to the people with my prakram with my learning i am giving you know people by traveling to different places and meeting doing spirituality and i am also struggling in my life helping these people because this combination is in the third house you know the pain of the other people the pain of my clients make me emotionally disturbed that is why this surya is sitting 12th from my fourth house absolutely amrita and you consider your students as your younger siblings and the family which is giving pain in my heart in the fourth house <coughs> which is giving pain to my fourth house this aditya this is how just by looking at your surya and if you know the story of all the 12 adityas if you know about what aditya is be it in a sign be it in a house you know how to make the combination now i will teach you about aditya in a sign in a house and then you can multiply you can do permutation and combinations you know and you can ask yourself that this is what i wanted to do and this is what world expect from me if your surya is in the 10th house exalted you want to be intelligent you want to live long life but people in the 10th house you know what is the aditya in the capricorn it is bhaga 
और लोग समझते हैं कि आपके साथ जब वो बैठेंगे उनके भाग खुल जाएंगे बट यू बिलीव इन हार्ड वर्क यू अंडरस्टैंड सो यू हैव टू लर्न सो लेट मी फर्स्ट explain you about all the 12 aditys if you can understand all the aditys all the 12 aditys you can understand the combinations you can keep on making permutations and combinations this concept that i am teaching you today is tried over more than 5000 charts and it works 100% there is not even a 99% scope isn't that beautiful that after the completion of this lecture you will know yourself who are you what you are supposed to do and what you are expected to do in this world if you can match that your life will be easy just give me a minute i want to sip water thank you so let's talk about the first aditya known as dhata i may do five or six today depending upon my throat i'll try to do 12 also okay dhata means that this sun is in aries and first house simple you can take any of the traits either it will be in the aries or it can be in the first house the energy is going to remain the same if it is in the aries this formula these these characteristics will apply on you this is what you want to do if it is in the house this is what world expects from you i am crystal clear on this and you should also be i am trying to teach this in a simple way so can i write here aries means you and house means the world excuse me so this is one thing is clear i mean i'm happy that you've understood this thing dhata aditya is the controller of the lagna when i say controller of the lagna it means that this aditya makes a person extremely intelligent is a very intelligent aditya so that means either you want to be intelligent or the world expects you to be intelligent this because of this particular aditya a native has a long life he has fat ego because you know when you are intelligent when you have surya in the lagna you know how many people you have seen with surya in the lagna they will have ego issues there is no doubt about it and that is not because of the sign that is not that they want to have ego but you think that they have ego they they think they don't have you ask someone who has surya in the lagna you ask him do you have ego maybe maybe not maybe sometime this is what the answer they are giving and if they are very clear on what they are they will tell yes i have little bit of ego still they will say they they'll use the word little bit they will never say that they are highly egoistic they will never say that they have a fat ego absolutely you know this is all perception amrutha but if you have this particular placement of surya 
either in the rashi or in the house i am going to give you a fantastic remedy because in the aries sign it is a mks for shani saturn if you have shani in the mks in any horoscope kisi bhi kundli mein agar shani marad kaand sthan mein in the first house for shani the most difficult position is the first house क्योंकि वो पोजीशन आपसे बहुत मेहनत करवाती है ये नहीं कि आपको बर्बाद कर देती है वो आपको बहुत मेहनत करवाती है इट रियली मेक्स यू वर्क हार्ड इन लाइफ देर इज अ मंत्र दैट यू कैन डू टू रिमूव द इल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द मरण कारण स्थान ऑफ सैटन एंड दिस वाज गिवन बाय धाता आदित्य Om Savitri Sa Vitri I will write it in English also Om Savitri Surya This is one word only okay Savitri Surya ना रा य नाय नम ओम सवित्री सूर्य नारायणाय 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 नम what will this mantra do 100% guarantee it will remove the ill effects of the marana kaand sthan of saturn shani ka agar mks mein hai in the first house it's gone the effect is gone with this mantra it is simply gone but if you want to improve your own surya in the aries you want to be more intelligent what is the mantra simple tat savitur vareniyam tat savitur vareniyam this is two words tat savitur vareniyam tat savitur vareniyam tat savitur vareniyam this is the mantra keep chanting people who got surya in the lagna or exalted surya tat savitur vareniyam तत् सवितुर वरेनियम तत् सवितुर वरेनियम तत् सवितुर वरेनियम और अ सिंपली कंप्लीट गायत्री मंत्र व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ओम भूर भुवस्व तत् सवितुर वरेनियम भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि दियो यो ना प्रचोदया एंड प्रचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचोदयाचो
एंड यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट ऑलवेज डू इट फ्रॉम तत्सवितुर वरे नियम भर्गो देव से धीमही धीओ यो ना प्रचोदया बट इफ इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द गुरु मुखा एंड गुरु इज टेलिंग यू टू डू दी गायत्री यू विल डू ओम भूर भू स्व तत्सवितुर वरे नियम भर्गो देव से धीमही धीओ यो ना प्रचोदया Are you guys clear on this thing? Yes, no, maybe any confusion? <clears throat> I hope it is clear. It is crystal clear. No, it is not difficult. I am trying to make things very, very transparent for you people. This is not complicated. Although it was before the lecture, no. so this is dhata aditya the second aditya is the aramana aramana is family focus second house is family kutumb if you have surya in the second house if anyone has surya in the second house come on right here in the group isn't the focus towards the family anjulika isn't the focus towards the family or a family is expecting a lot from you you see depending upon the sign what you are expecting and depending upon the bhava in which the surya is is what it is now you have to write bhavana in the second house or in the second sign so if it is in the second sign you are focusing towards the family a lot your focus is towards the family but if it is in the second house then your family expects that you should have focus on the family and i hope people who have son in the second house are 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 relating to what i am saying lot of things will depend upon your aramana is conjunct with a certain planet we will learn all these things in the advanced manner we will learn them certain aspects on your aditya you know certain combinations of this aditya you can make thousands of combinations in permutations here no problem so you know the the fam it is the family focus and he is the chief of all the pitris chief of all the pitris whenever we are doing any pitra puja any anushthana for the pitris aryaman aditya the mantra is considered always if someone who knows the karma or someone who is know the karma kant from this group right now he would agree that during the pitri pujan you know the aramana aditya is the one who is prayed what is the pitri dosha what is the pitri dosha by the way pitri dosha is of two types you can identify pitri dosha by two ways in a chart now this is very important ladies and gentlemen this will change lot of perceptions in your mind whenever sun or moon or saturn is afflicted by rahu ketu is known as pitri dosha 
दैट मीन्स इफ सन इज कंजंक्ट बाय राहु और सन इज कंजंक्ट बाय केतु और मून इज कंजंक्ट बाय राहु और मून इज कंजंक्ट बाय केतु और सैटन इज कंजंक्ट बाय राहु और सैटन इज कंजंक्ट बाय केतु इज अ पितरी दोषा इन अ चार्ट when saturn is conjunct by ketu that means you have not done the last rites of your ancestors properly but that was unintentional you have no knowledge or the pandit was not right, doing the things right so unintentionally you have not done the rituals of your ancestors properly whenever the pitra dosha is coming from the ketu but if it is coming from the rahu we have a saturn rahu or a moon rahu or a surya rahu you have not done them intentionally you knew there was these right to be done and you've missed it the drishti makes the anshik pitra dosha but the actual pitra dosha is the conjunction because the aspect of rahu ketu is 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 what you know it is just the energy the desire of rahu ketu well i i'll teach you the aspects but these are the combinations and there is something more to it there is something more to it this is one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> If this pitri dosha happens from fourth house to ninth house. If the pitri dosha is taking place. either in the 4th house 5th house 6th house 7th house 8th house 9th house your mother will get the hit of the pitri dosha this pitra dosha will affect your mother her progress will be slow your maternal mama taya sorry mama or masi they will suffer your mother will take a hit it is going to affect your motherly side or mother but if this is happening from 10th house to the 3rd house this pitra dosha is going to affect the father your father is going to suffer because of the pitra dosha here if it is the this pitra dosha is happening from 4 to 9th house your mother is going to be affected any questions on this are you clear on this thing 4 to 9th house the effect of pitra dosha is going to be on your mother your father is not going to suffer because of your pitra dosha your mother will suffer a lot and if you have from 10th house to the 3rd house remedies we have a long journey to go we will learn all these remedies in detail and if it is happening from the 10th house to the 3rd house it is the suffering of the father <clears throat> obviously from the lagna of so the these are from the lagna only moon and sun is okay what saturn conjunct also with absolutely saturn conjunct with rahu and ketu is a major pitra dosha it is in fact shrapit also it is a dosha and then further it is cursed if that combination is with saturn and rahu and saturn and ketu it also becomes a shrapit dosha along with the pitra dosha it will have in your past life nana in the past life 
you had this pitra dosha because saturn is all about your ancestors saturn is the kark of longevity death obviously the degrees does matter whether it is a strong conjunction or a loose conjunction if it is a loose conjunction it is very far away the effect will be less it is a close conjunction the effect will be more so saturn sun and moon conjunct rahu and ketu will make the pitri dosha agar aapko nahi samajh mein aa rahi you can go back and listen to the recording again i have been uh, telling this in a simplest way vijay please mute yourself the child is crying And this is getting recorded. I would request people to kindly mute, so that no background noises. I mean, we you know, it is disturbing. So you can type Arti. Whatever your confusion is, type. Sun and Rahu in D one. Sun and Rahu in D nine. So it is a Pitre dosha. So. if it is so if it is in the d9 as well as in the d1 that means you have done nothing in your previous birth it was the pitra dosha was there in the previous birth which is d9 and now pitra dosha is also in the lagna you are going to suffer in this life as well you have to do something about it d9 pitra dosha says that this d, this pitra dosha is coming from your dna it was there in the previous lives as well and you have done nothing to overcome it that is the pitra dosha in the d9 and if you don't have it in d9 but if you have it in the lagna right so that means that in the previous life it wasn't there in this life you have but if you have it in the d9 but you don't have it in the lagna that means it was there in the past life but you have done certain good karmas because of which it is not there in this life but still it was there so as a precautionary you should do some other remedies as well shani and surya and shani and chandra is also a pitra dosha no it is not shani and surya shani and chandra are vish yogas shani chandra is a vish yog means rahu and ketu ke axis mein sun and saturn dono hi pitra dosh hoga but moon nahi hai to kya fir bhi dosh hoga yes dosh hoga either sun or moon or saturn sun and moon and saturn if they are afflicted by rahu and ketu or and and both even one of them is a pitra dosh <laughs> at time people have such a severe pitra dosha that their sun and moon both are affected sun with rahu moon with ketu those people are born on purnima when sun and moon are exactly opposite to each other and then they have rahu and ketu associated with them those become a highly strong pitra dosha that is going to affect both mother the side as well as the fatherly side because they will be on the either of the axis what happens with pitra dosha what are what are <clears throat> what are the things that happen the grahan dosha is a pitra dosha delay in the things there will be less harmony in the family the family may be incomplete they will have struggles in the success choti si baat pe bada jhagda ho jana with a very small thing you know converts into big fights 
you earn so many things you know money comes touches and goes pitri dosha there is no contribution of mother and father it is only the suffering that either goes to the mother or goes to the father amavasya yoga is a very different yoga okay amavasya yoga is very very different <clears throat> children's are delayed children delay the marriage is delayed delay 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 becomes the theme of the life when you have pitri doshas so amrit this is a very strong pitri dosha that you have sun and rahu in the seventh and then ketu and saturn in the lagna a very strong pitri dosha you need serious remedies for it you have to change certain lifestyles you have to be so so delay could be the you know the theme of his life it could be a struggle full life it is like highs and lows and ups and downs and delay of course it is you know possible that one sibling have pitr dosha the other may not have pitr dosha because he was not there in the ritual so suppose if 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 a father has died <coughs> excuse me and there are two children one child one child was in the puja the second was not he did nothing only one child did all the rites and everything so the other child will have pitr dosha if it was non intentional he was away the pitr dosha with be will ketu if intentionally he did not come in that <coughs> last rituals it was it the, the pitr dosha will be with the rahu so aramana is the aditya for pitris <clears throat> it is possible because of certain other planetary you know combinations may not be because of pitr dosha hani it could be any many combinations in the divisional charts because as as i said why do we consider 16 divisional charts only because these 16 divisional charts are the 16 kalas of shri krishna 16 kalas sampurna hai krishna isiliye wo 16 kalaye hi aapke 16 divisional charts jinko consider kiya jata hai why not we have 17 divisional charts that are important why shodashak chakra is the most important because these are the 16 divisional charts that are the kalas of krishna that has given us ways to live good life in the better way so rahu will always aspect na na if there's moon and ketu rahu will be exactly opposite so you have to see the conjunction conjunction with ketu non intentional conjunction with rahu that is why i am saying do not consider aspects here consider the conjunction the conjunction with rahu is intentional conjunction with ketu is non intentional pitri dosha <laughs> okay so i will complete remaining 10 adityas tomorrow ya yeah, in the past life anjulika in the past life you have not done the rituals of your ancestors properly non intentionally or unintentionally the pitr dosha will come with ketu if you have done intentionally you have not done them like people know ki 13 din se pehle uthala nahi karna chahiye aap you have to wait for 13 days for the final you know rasam kriya but people are doing in four days nowadays within four days 
the complete rituals are complete you know intentionally if they are doing it they know it has to be within 13 days or after 13 days and they are doing in the four days their generations and they themselves will have pitri doshas in their next life conjunct rahu <clears throat> if they don't have knowledge and then they have done the rituals then the pitri dosha is going to come with the ketu simple is that if it is coming from 4 to 9th house mother is going to take the hit if it is coming from 10 to 3rd house father is going to take the hit ठीक <coughs> है आज इतना ही करते हैं और आप इसको डाइजेस्ट करो यू नो एंड कीप एन एपेटाइट फॉर टुमारो ऑफ कोर्स नवामशाह भी इफेक्ट करता है नवामशाह इज द डीएनए नवामशाह इज द डीएनए इट इफेक्ट्स नवामशाह इज द the briefcase of the karmas that you are carrying from the past life and how will you settle those karmas is your lagna i repeat navamsha is the baggage that you are carrying from the past life and how that baggage will be opened and how will you enjoy that baggage is your lagna aditya you will only look in the d1 chart don't get into the adityas of navamsha as of now you will make your life a lot of complicated could you see a question yeah so in d9 <coughs> there is a rahu moon and then uh, like uh, in d1 mein wo saturn ketu ho jata hai but they are like virtual conjunct so it turned from intentional to unintentional yes and what does yes. that really mean ki आप जो है यू डिट वॉन्ट टू बट लाइक यू डिट समिंग इन द पास लाइक सम कन्ने और समथिंग विच कन्वर्टेड इट इन इट मीन्स दैट यू न्यू अबाउट समथिंग बट सिंस देर वॉज अ डेथ एंड यू गॉट सो हर्ट दैट यू अन इंटेंशनली फॉर गेट अ थिंग दैट यू न्यू ओके समझ में आई मेरी बात कभी कभी आपको एक चीज याद होती है लेकिन आप अनइंटेंशनली उसको भूल जाते हो ओके गॉट इट या मी एंड विवेक जी बोथ हैव दिस कॉम्बिनेशन सो वी वर थिंकिंग अबाउट इट सो व्हाट कैन फीमेल्स डू इन द लास्ट रिचुअल्स बिकॉज़ यूजुअली मेल्स डू द कर्मा सो हु नोस दैट यू वर अ फीमेल इन द प्रीवियस कर्मा और अ मेल इन द प्रीवियस कर्मा ऑल दीस फीमेल्स हु आर सफरिंग विद द पितृ दोषा दे वर मेल्स एंड दे डिड नॉट डू इट और दे वर ओनली डॉटर्स because it is written in the shastras that if you don't have a son if you don't have a male child all the rituals are to be done by the female so don't worry about this <coughs> chalo i hope you've learned so many things you've understood a concept and when you you know complete 12 adityas with me you will understand what you are here for and what the world expects from you theek hai chalo <laughs>